Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Food Storage Friday, and this week I'm gonna be doing it out of the Dollar Tree. Food Storage Friday, I'm stocking up on our $5 worth of pantry items. And if you haven't seen the two previous videos, I will link them down below. Food Storage Friday, we're also gonna be doing a pantry stable dinner. So let's go into Dollar Tree and see what goodies we can find for our emergency food storage. It's always good to have these in your pantry because you might randomly run out of oil. I love to have these tiny ones. It's, a, it's the best price on this size, actually. Walmart is like three bucks. Are you my helper today? Yes, I am. This is perfect for emergency food storage, and this is the best price ever for this size shelf stable milk. But I don't need any today, I have a ton of it. Also, best price on coconut milk. But I don't need any of that either. Okay. I do need best price on black pepper is the Dollar Tree. Hands down. And a lot of spices. And it's the best price for pink Himalayan sea salt. Let me get some black pepper. We get some barbecue sauce. We need some of this in the pantry, and it's the best price on barbecue sauce, especially this brand. It's so quiet in here today, I feel weird. I feel like I should whisper. What even is that? Kylan, yeah? we need one more thing okay. for our pantry haul. Mm -hmm. Something shelf stable. What should it be? That, that'll work. Okay. There we go. I swear, y'all, it was so oddly quiet in Dollar Tree today. It made me feel like, like weird, like I needed to whisper, like, what's going on? But it was so full of people, it was odd, because it's usually really loud in the Dollar Tree. But anyways, I'm going to show you what I got for my $5 pantry haul this week. Dollar Tree has the best deal for this size of vegetable oil. This is great to have in your pantry. You never know when you're going to run out. And sometimes it just sneaks up on you. Perfect to have. Walmart this size is like three bucks. They also have the best price on black pepper. They have the best price on this brand especially, barbecue sauce. So we're going to put these in the pantry. And Kylan, I told him to pick out something for the pantry. And he picked out a cup of noodles. This is a good ready-to-eat meal. So this... You see my sourdough starter back there. <laughs> but this is our $5 emergency pantry haul for the week. At the end of this month, on the last video for the Food Storage Friday in August, I'm going to show you everything that we got on Food Storage Friday so you can see how quickly it builds up. Okay, so what are we going to do for our shelf-stable meal today? Well, I have a craving for a chicken alfredo. But I don't want to do pasta because that's so basic. Like, we know you can do chicken alfredo, but we're going to do a chicken alfredo bake. Kind of like the Costco chicken bake, but our version and shelf stable. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using to make shelf stable chicken alfredo bakes. Two packages of pizza crust mix. You can use any brand you want. I just like the cheap stuff at the good old Walmart. Two cans of canned chicken breast. Get your favorite Alfredo sauce. I usually make mine homemade, but this is shelf stable and homemade is not shelf stable. I like the Four Cheese Alfredo, the Great Value brand. It's budget friendly and it has a nice flavor. I'm gonna be using an Italian dressing mix to put on top of the chicken bakes and inside of it for a little little kick, a nice little, nice little pep, you know. And I'm gonna be using fire roasted diced tomatoes with garlic. You don't have to use this, but I think it makes it taste really, really good. Another thing I'm gonna be using that's not necessary, but it is shelf stable. I wanna be using some of this egg replacer to make an egg wash to go on top. Now, this is awesome to have in your emergency food storage. Um, I have found some on Amazon. I found it at Ingles and Thrive Market has it as well, not sponsored. So this, this really comes in handy. 
to have in your emergency food storage. So I'm gonna be using some of this as well, but it's totally not necessary if you don't have it. All right, let's get to cooking. We're all starving, buddy. The first thing I'm gonna do is mix up our filling. I'm adding in both cans of chicken breast, drained, of course. About half of this pack of Italian dressing mix. I'm gonna break this up a bit with a fork. I'm not gonna add salt or anything because the Italian dressing mix has salt in it. And I'm gonna slowly add the Alfredo because I don't wanna overdo it. To get the consistency that you like, just do it in little small increments because you can't take it out, but you can add some in. Let's just do a little bit more. I probably used half of this whole jar. You guys know what else is shelf stable? Grated Parmesan cheese. I think I'm going to add some of that to this. This will give it a nice little box. I'm not gonna add the diced tomatoes to this entire mixture. I'm gonna add it to each individual chicken alfredo bake because Ryder and Colin have requested no tomato. Okay, this is ready. Let's make our crust. I'm gonna make the crust exactly like the back of the package says. Each package requires a half a cup of warm water. I use two packages, so I'm adding one cup of water. Mix this up and let it sit for five minutes. I'm gonna start rolling out my dough. I'm gonna do each one separately and I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my cutting board so my dough does not stick. Okay. And a little on my hands. So it doesn't stick to my hands either. Now I'm going to make five of these. You can make as many as you can with your dough. I'm going to cut it into five balls. Because that is what I need. I'm trying to make them as even as I possibly can. Put a little bit of the oil on my rolling pin. And now these are not going to be perfect by any means. <laughs> because I'm just really bad at making circles. I'm going to put in some of my filling. Put some of the fire roasted diced tomatoes with garlic. Mix it up a bit. Okay. And I'm going to close this. Okay. I'm going to lay this on top of my greased pan. You might have a little bit of explosions. It's totally fine. I'm just gonna continue making them just like that. Nothing fancy dancy. Oh. A chicken bake. Chicken bake? Mm hmm Yours doesn't get tomato, so don't worry. <laughs> Over here, I'm going to mix up the shelf stable egg wash. The ratio is one part egg replacer, two parts water for a normal one egg. You're supposed to let it sit for one minute to thicken, but I'm doing an egg wash. 
and we'll let it thicken <laughs> on top of the chicken bakes. This one is totally going to explode. I made it a little too stuffed. That leftover Italian dressing mix, I'm just going to sprinkle it over top. Okay, now I'm going to bake these on 400 until they look nice and golden brown. These cook for probably 15 minutes total. I knew this one would explode. It did, <laughs> but it's okay. So this is what they look like. And I'm gonna put some of the shelf stable Parmesan on top, just because. Douse it in the Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna let things cool for a minute because these are piping hot. Then I'm gonna cut it open and show you what it looks like on the inside. Here's what she looks like. I'll plate it up and not cut open yet. And there it is. I have it sliced open. It's still a little hot, a little hot. I thought it was cool, but it's kind of hot to it's kind of hot to touch. So I'm lifting it with a knife. But that's what she looks like. I'm so excited to eat that. I'm so excited. <laughs> Does it look good, Kaka? Uh huh. I really want to eat it so badly. It's so hot. We have to wait a minute. Let me eat this. Like a hot pocket. It's like a hot pocket. Mhm. Mm hot pocket eating like this. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, that is very nice. Thank you. Notice the angle for Brayden is very low because he's taller than everybody in the house now. I have to hold my hand up real high. Mmm. Oh, oh, I'm really good. Ooh, I got a growl. <laughs> Dusty has to use a fork because his kind of went, it's blue! Is it? No. Shelf stable, baby. No. I'm going to give it a go, too. I'm a harder critic on myself. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. That is fantastic. That grated Parmesan on top really sets it off. All right, that's it for Food Storage Friday. If you guys try this recipe, I hope you enjoy it. Remember, try to take part in the $5 Emergency Food Storage Challenge. I promise it builds up so quick. $5 may seem small, especially in this economy, but I promise you can still find good deals. It quickly adds up and you can have a nice little insurance policy just in case something happens. I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Remember, as always, be positive and kind and happy. And I'll see you later, taters. Bye.